Today we're going to be reviewing Win 4208 8-inch 5-speed drill press. Includes half-inch key chuck and onboard key storage. Spindle travels up to 2 inches, durable one-third horsepower induction motor, 6.5 by 6.5 inch work table, swing 8 inches from drill bit to column. The handles, the chuck, cast iron base, column and then inside you have the main unit cast iron table Everything's covered in plastic, which is nice. Okay, I'm going to attach the base. I guess this is the hardware. What comes in the hardware pack is your three handles. For your lever, uh, they give you an Allen wrench and three bolts. The bolts just screw into the base. I guess the base is pre, -pre threaded. Trying to be careful so I don't cross thread the threads. You grab a wrench, cinch it up, don't over tighten it, just cinch it so you get everything pretty much level. Put on the table. If you can see here, he's got big set screws on each side. That's what this Allen wrench is for. Okay, put on the knobs. And these handles here are kind of like rubber, hard rubber. You'd expect it to be like plastic or something. They're actually kind of nice. Okay, now time to put the chuck in. And it's got the chuck key in there. And this is what the chuck looks like. And it just slips over this taper here. And what I mean by taper, it comes at an angle. So the more pressure you push down on it, the more it cinches up, locks into place. Now I don't have no denatured alcohol or anything, but they do recommend that you clean the grease off. So that's what I'm going to do. Now 
Now I've seen on the internet a lot of people like to hammer hammer these on. Uh, I don't feel like hammering it's going to do any good. You're just going to damage the, the chuck. Okay, let me get it cleaned out here. All I'm using is some shop towels. I don't, like I said, I don't have any denatured alcohol. That would have been highly recommended, but I don't see the need for it. And what you do is you just set it up there by hand. And then I'm going to get some wood and then we're going to press that chuck in. I'll use these because these are cut square. Make sure your table's square. It says it's at zero. And it looks pretty square. Let me come down a little bit. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Let me move the table up a little bit. And I'll leave a little bit of wiggle room. Okay. Now press that down. That's all you gotta do. Now let's plug it in and see how well it runs. It's got a switch. too much run out. If any, the vibration you're feeling is coming off the table here. That's what's making the noise, but other than that, it's nice and smooth. Where I've heard it clanking and all kinds of stuff on the other videos that I've watched. This one's running pretty true. No hard, hard, no run out whatsoever. Um, what I recommend is either get a rubber mat or take two, uh, what I recommend is getting a rubber mat or taking two mouse pads and setting underneath and then attaching this to the table that you're going to put it on. Other than that, looks like a good little unit. I wish the base was a little bit heavier. I noticed on the central machinery ones, they're, they're a lot heavier than this one. That's probably why you're getting so much vibration. But like I said, put a rubber mat underneath it, you won't have no vibration noise. But being a turner, I can tell that this is running true. And let's see here. They got a little spot here that you put your chuck key in. Like so. This is what I mean by dampening the sound. I just put a piece of cardboard underneath it and now you can listen to it for yourself. 
see it cut down on a lot of the noise. It's much quieter. No run out. Table's nice and flat. My only complaint is this base is a little light. You can feel the vibration through it. And that knob that holds the top together, it's a little too short. So, other than that, great little unit. Oh, and I wish it had a light, but it's all right. I got plenty of shop light in here. What I'm talking about is this nut isn't long enough from the outside. And these are the, the parts that came out when I opened it up.